As a .NET MAUI developer building mobile and desktop applications, I'm often adding a lot of new features, and at the same time, I'm also diving into a lot of new code bases. So I want to be able to iterate quickly on my applications, but I also want to be able to jump into existing code bases and really understand what the code is doing. And that's where GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot Chat can be really exciting and awesome to use to not only add new features, but also learn more about how the code works and then spice it up with some new functionality. So let's take a look. Here I am inside of my application, and I have a typical method here that says get monkeys async. This is going to go off to the internet, pull down the data, and then deserialize it and return it into my list. I can see here that it's not doing any checking at all to connect and look at the internet. So uh, let's maybe see if there's a way that GitHub Copilot could help me create a method to check the internet uh, before we make this call. So I'm just going to write a little comment here that says method to check for internet connection. And when I hit enter here, it's going to give me a full completion recommendation that says connectivity.network access if it equals internet. Now this is really cool because GitHub Copilot has the context of my code. We can see that this is an iConnectivity instance, a private uh, property somewhere in my code. Let's take a look. Oh, sure enough, here it is. This is being directly injected into my constructor right here of iConnectivity. So this is nice because, like I said, GitHub Copilot knows about my code. So it's using that automatically here. Well, let's go ahead and actually use it. So I can now come in and say, let's uh, check for internet connection and display a pop-up alert uh, if no internet exists in there. Now again, GitHub uh, Copilot will check that brand new method that it calls, that is connected property there, and then it will go ahead and display an alert using shell, because I'm using shell in my application. And sure enough, it says error, no internet connection, and returns automatically for me. So that's really nice. GitHub Copilot not only knows the context, but it's adding new methods, it's helping me write better code, and is using everything it knows about my application to make sure that code is really great. Now, of course, I can edit this, add more context, maybe add in some different uh, translations as well uh, if I have those in my application. But let's see what else GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot Chat can do inside my application. I'm going to take a look at the main page here, and this is a fairly complex page. It has a refresh view, it has a collection view, it has different item templates, and we can see here that there's a tap gesture recognizer inside of this frame that will navigate to a new page. Now, this is a pretty complex data binding. Uh, there's a relative source with an ancestor type, and it has a path, and if I'm brand new to XAML and MVVM, uh, this might look pretty complex to me, especially if I'm coming into a project for the first time. So this is where GitHub Copilot chat can really help me out. Here I'm just going to go ahead and say, ask Copilot. I'm going to say, uh, what does this relative source uh, binding do, and how does it work? So again, GitHub Copilot chat is now going to kick in, and this is really great. It's giving me information not only on what a relative source binding is, but what the ancestor type is, how it's going to go find the monkey's view model class, and then in this case, use the go to details command, which is found in that view model. So that's really nice, and it asked me. Uh, if I have any other follow-up questions here, but I'm interested in this command parameter. So let's continue the conversation. So I'm going to say, how does the command parameter uh, work work here? So again, GitHub Copilot chat's going to go off and analyze my code. And this is really great. It's going to say that this command parameter is bound to the dot, which means it's going to pass in the current item context, in this case, a monkey inside of this tap gesture recognizer. So that's really, really great. So if we take a look at the running application over here, we can note that I have um, some monkeys in here. We can see that that's how that data binding is working, so that monkey in that class. Uh, but we can see that, um, in this case, the, the labels are not necessarily aligned correctly. So let's go ahead and tap on that and, and take a look here. Well, we have this vertical stack layout and, and some labels in here, and, and I might be wondering, how, how could I maybe uh, align that vertically in here. Again, let me just go ahead and ask GitHub Copilot, how could I align the content of the uh, vertical stack layout so they are centered? 
All right. Again, GitHub Copilot chat over here is going to analyze this code and recommend some brand new code for me. So it has the exact same code, but it's, it's adding this vertical uh, center and align option. So let's go ahead and just copy that. So I could copy the whole thing, but I'm just going to add this in here. There we go. And now let's go ahead and see a look up. Oh, and sure enough, now our labels are vertically aligned. So that's really great. So it's giving me that context that understands it more. So GitHub Copilot not only giving me some great recommendations of learning about the code, but also how to enhance the code. Well, you know, if I am coming in, I'm adding new features to this app, I might want to go ahead and create a new page to navigate to the details of those monkeys. And again, this is where GitHub Copilot chat and GitHub Copilot can really help me out by creating and giving me some, some sort of templates here for this type of page and even the code behind. So let's go ahead and ask GitHub Copilot chat. I'll say, how would I create a .NET MAUI XAML page for the details of the monkey when selected? All right, so let's see what uh, GitHub Copilot chat has to say here. So again, it's going to analyze uh, the application. And wow, just like this, it gives me a full reference here that is going to go ahead and give me uh, context of my large labels, my medium labels. It's going to go ahead and, and bind here to the name, image, location automatically, and even give me a go back command, which is nice. Now I could take this, I could copy this into a new page, but I could also ask it, uh, what type of uh, view model code could be generated for the code behind here? So let's go ahead and ask it, what would a view model code behind look like for this new page? All right, so now GitHub Copilot is kind of using that reference there, and here we go. It has generated the monkey detail view model for me, and it's passing in a monkey. It has some information about getting that different detail information back for me, and it's even generated a command, a go back command, to navigate backwards. What I do like about this is that it's also implemented my base view model up here, which is really, really cool because it knows about the context of my code. So if I look at this monkey's view model again, the main one that I was working in, we can also see that it has the base view model there too. So that's really, really nice. Now this is great because this is giving me some of that inside knowledge of what my code looks like and giving me a good starting place so I can take it, put it into my code, and then start from there to not only have a page, but also the code behind for it as well. Well, that's how easy it is to get started using GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot chat in your .NET MAUI applications today. I hope that you really enjoyed this. Leave comments below if you have any questions at all. Thanks for watching.